Well, it is the most common cause of respiratory tract infections in young children and can be especially serious for babies. Of course, we're talking about RSV. Six News anchor Lori Tucker is here now with more on what you need to know in tonight's Caring for Our Kids. Lori. Uh, thanks, Kristen. RSV stands for Respiratory Syncytial Virus. That's kind of a mouthful. RSV, highly contagious. The Centers for Disease Control says one and a half million children are treated for RSV every year. More than 150,000 have to be hospitalized, and most of those are tiny babies. Joining us now with more information uh, from Children's Hospital is ER Director Ryan Redman. I almost got that one out. We all know it is RSV. Talk about the uh, number of cases you have seen because it's grown recently, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. We are we are in that time of year, and unfortunately for us in uh, pediatric health, along with uh, mistletoe and holly, usually comes RSV. So uh, we've had dozens of cases that have been positive. And that's especially significant considering that we're really de-emphasizing doing specific testing for it and treating the symptoms more than we are trying to identify the viral infection. You want to avoid unnecessary testing and just get right to taking care of those symptoms, right? Absolutely. All right, let's talk about signs and symptoms that parents need to watch out for. Sure. Well, it is a very highly contagious infection. It's a very universal infection. All kids will get it by the time they're age two or three years old, but there's a wide variety of how kids react, and most of that has to do with age. So the younger you are, the better chances that it could be more severe. The symptoms are largely gonna be the same, runny nose, cough, fever, some of your common cold symptoms. But in the under six months of age, we worry more about respiratory difficulty, respiratory distress, and decreased feeding. So just kind of keep your babies at home when, when it's cold outside, when, when, when these cases start to pop up again? Is yeah, that absolutely. You want to do your regular viral precautions, mm -hmm. really good hand washing. Mm -hmm. If you do start to develop symptoms, we've tried a lot of different things with things like breathing treatments and different kind of antiviral medications. Yeah. We've since found that those don't really work all that well. The most important thing is keeping that nose as clear as possible. So the good old saline and bulb suction works mm -hmm. wonders often. Keep them away from crowds, maybe. You can tell I'm kind of... <laughs> Yeah, obsessed with that one. <laughs> My kids <laughs> yeah. were little. Um, are, are there complications for RSV for other respiratory diseases? There are for, and especially again, when you're talking about that younger age group, that yeah. under six months of age, yeah. that that can set you up for secondary infections, things mm -hmm. like secondary pneumonias mm -hmm. um, that can cause a lot of problems too. So that's why we're a lot more cautious in that age group than we are with the older kids who might cough and wheeze a little bit, but generally will float through it okay. I know I've gotten a lot of uh, feedback from parents on our Facebook page already when we talked about your interview today mm -hmm. saying my child has been in the hospital with this. Mm -hmm. uh, when should you take your child to the ER? The biggest thing that we look at is going to be any increased work of breathing. So you're going to notice faster breathing, noisier breathing, and then also in the younger ones, decreased feeding. If they are making a choice between eating and breathing, they're choosing wow. breathing. That's the right thing to do, but that means that they need to get seen because that's severe enough. Huge red flag. All yeah. right, doctor, thank you so much as always for being with us. Well, Great you. advice. And if you have questions about your child's health, just send me an email. Here's the address, ltucker at wate.com. And be sure to tune in every Thursday here on 6 News at 530. We love to get your questions and we will use them on the air.